sort of a pretty sound, isn't it, Eugene? Yes, it is. Yeah. So here, put your, just rub your finger over the top of the glass. Nothing happened. Now, the reason is probably because what we really want to get the glass to do is to vibrate, right? Right. And in order to get it to vibrate, you have to sort of give it a little push and then not a push and then a push and not a push. If, if you know how a violin bow works, where they put rosin on it and yeah. then, so it scrapes along the string, well that's what you have to do with here. And the problem with your finger, it probably has some oil on it. Everybody has oil on their fingers. Mm -hmm. So here's what you do. Take some of this stuff. Vinegar? Yes. You dip your finger in the vinegar and that cuts the oil that's on your finger so it should stick and slip over here on the top of it. So try dipping your finger in the uh, vinegar and now rub it. Aha! Makes now, a sound. Why is it making a sound now? Well, like you said, it sticks and... It sticks and, and slips, and, right? Yeah, and that causes the glass to vibrate right. and with the water too and it makes a sound. Okay, so the, and the more mass that vibrates, the lower the note. Right. Okay, well now dip your finger in it each time and go ahead and play, play my uh, series of glasses and see what you get. Wait a minute, wait, come on, dip your finger in. That one didn't sound too good. Go ahead, play it again. This one's too high. Okay, what do I do? Well, we pour more water okay, into Okay, dip your finger in there and keep playing it. Uh, just maybe these two is all you need, right? Try that. This one's still too high. Close enough for now. Yeah. Continue. Now notice this glass, in spite of the fact that it's almost full to the very top, it's the high note. So when you try this at home, you've got to, you know, experiment and practice. And what's the, res the uh, secret ingredient? Vinegar. Vinegar. And you hold the bottom of the glass and rub it like this to get a beautiful sound.